All right, I am Jay Stager from Cold Country Vines and Wines, and we are doing a comparison of the Minnesota University of Minnesota Itasca wine to two different Sauvignon Blancs, and they are from California and from New Zealand. And needless to say, it is a different grape, but uh, our Cold Country Itasca to me compares with the best Sauvignon Blancs. So we wanted to do a side-by-side -side test mm -hmm. to see if they compared, if they matched up. So I what don't we're like gonna them. do ours is more colorful. Yeah, uh, ours right? has a lot more color. Mine are very and, light. Uh, it actually, you know, when you look at the grape, when you pick the grape, I don't know if you were out there picking when we picked Itasca, but they have that slightly pinkish hue that the wine has, which is really kind of cool. So, uh, yes, Sitaska is a new grape that University of Minnesota put out about seven or eight years ago. All right, after several technical difficulties, <laughs> and you can see a change of location. The sun was in someone's eyes. <laughs> we, we now are ready to start again. And uh, we have, as I said before, we have a California Sauvignon Blanc, a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc, and the homegrown Itasca, which of course is from, made from the University of Minnesota grape, Itasca. From the Wisconsin Ledge. Yep. Grown. It was grown right here at Cold Country Vines and Wines. We are part of the Wisconsin Ledge, and um, I'm very excited about this wine. We did choose to make it off dry versus, uh, it's it's almost a little unfair because the uh, the two Sauvignon Blancs are dry dry and ours is off dry. Only off dry by a little bit though, so it shouldn't matter. It just means uh, you won't have that little bite done finish that uh, you get with most Sauvignon Blancs. Which I don't mind the bite, but I know most people in Wisconsin mm, would just as soon not have that bite. This is the California, oh. because we're not going to tell you what kind it is, but it is, it's a very, very typical, good quality Sauvignon Blanc. Without much color at all. Right. But, you know, my opinion is the New Zealand Sauvignon mm. Blancs blow the California Sauvignon Blancs out of the water, but uh, that's just my opinion, but I think that's shared by a lot of people. Yeah. The but aroma? This, the aroma? Subtle. It is. It's subtle and it's a little minerally and um, yeah. it it doesn't have a real heavy fruit forward. Mm -hmm. And that could be either intentional or it could be just because the grapes, the Sauvignon Blanc, Blanc grapes in California don't yeah. don't produce them flavors. And I'm guessing that's what it is more than the finish is a little Chardonnay-ish as far as you get that dry um, pucker. See, to me, I would have a hard time picking this out from a, a flight of Chardonnays. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would. It, to me, it's very Chardonnay. -ish. It has that finishing yep. pucker like a Chardonnay does, yep. which I personally love Chardonnay, so to me... And I personally do not. I, I think, oh, so is this, this is a Chardonnay? Yeah, you put a little oak in here, and I don't know how you could tell the part mm -hmm. of Chardonnay. So this to you, Tammy, has a I'm little bit... I'm not a Chardonnay person. And what do you think of it? So this... I... I don't like the color. But what do you get for fruit flavor at all in there? It Boy, they're so, so, there's so... There's no body. I don't... I don't taste any fruit, but I can't put my tongue on what I can <laughs> I get a tiny bit of lemon. All right, let's put that one. Yeah, let's let's go to New Zealand. Now, New Zealand to me. This is a uh, also a very good quality New Zealand yes. Sauvignon Blanc, which when of I course. When I think of Sauvignon Blanc, I think New Zealand. Me too. It's New Zealand, it's, and it's specifically the Marlborough District makes the best Sauvignon Blancs in the world by most people's standards. And smell that aroma. I think that that is a nice citrus mm. smell to mm. me. Yeah, it makes my it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the uh, is the there's a definite passion fruit. Um, it it actually dominates the flavors in here. I get the bite at the end and the finish. 
different than what you had I get previous. the bite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. In the back and, of the throat. And in, uh, yeah. in the defense of this wine, our uh, mm. Itasca last year had that same bite. Yes. And you didn't like it because of that. Correct. Whereas, Correct. You know, I, I expect mm -hmm. that in these kind of wines. Both of them mm -hmm. have very poor color. To me, they, they are very light. Yeah. Like, ours is more, well, this ours Itasca will be straw colored. You know, we've yeah. got that nice. It, it's kind of a, uh, when you pick the Itasca, it, it has good. a, mm -hmm. a kind of a, um, I'm, it's, I think it's a peach color, actually. You know, it's kind of a, that little bit of red and yellow mixed together. And it, it's a pretty, really, pretty cool looking drink when you pick. I think red and yellow make green. No, blue and yellow make green. Moving on. <laughs> what do red and yellow make? Orange. Oh, orange. What do you think I have? I think I'm an orange. Come on. <laughs> anyway, let's finish the Moving discussion on. about New Zealand. He can, he can delete that part. I know. But I'm not going to. I was going to say, this is more fun. <laughs> We're just going to let this run on and on and on. Get on with it. Get on with it, Jay. Come on. Get on with it. Anyway, I can really appreciate Cheers. this wine. I, I think it's an excellent wine. And it's, uh, is, it is bone dry. Uh, maybe not bone dry, but pretty close to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's got great flavors. It's got good balance. Balance. I agree, it doesn't have much color, but uh, that's not what Sauvignon Blanc is known for. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to move on to Itasca. Mm -hmm. Cold Country's Itasca. Now, this wine, we've been, this is only our second vintage of this yes. one. Yes, yes, second vintage. And uh, the first one we had to mm -hmm blend a little bit of uh, of our other Louis Swenson into it because we basically because we didn't have enough of this to really make a bottling and it was good but it mm -hmm. uh, has legs it just wasn't as good as this this is 100% no, Itasca and uh, this is off dry which uh, means that you lose that little bit of bite at the end but uh, to me that I did that on purpose because Wisconsiners don't really generally like that bite on the end. Um, I'd say on average, this will go over with Wisconsin wine drinkers better than a totally bone dry wine would have. Wow. You put that in your mouth and it just mm. fills, fills your palate with fruitiness. I didn't get any fruitiness on the other two. No. But I like the finish on this one yeah. compared to last year's, the last Itasca. Mm. I like the finish on this. And a nice fruit flavor. Wow. Now you have to uh, make sure mm. you saturate your mouth with this wine before you make any assessments mm -hmm. because... Uh, mm -hmm. It means you get rid of the... Right, so that you're not... Yeah getting any residual mm -hmm. right. um, a, uh, a cracker or something in between is mm -hmm. usually pretty good but this wine has uh, has that passion fruit flavor just like the New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc and uh, it, it's very well balanced I think to me the color the body the aroma just the, whole the end, yeah, the whole package, the anticipation of what you're gonna have would complement what type of meal would you think would be the best? To me, scallops, mm -hmm. uh, light fish, spaghetti, light fish, yep. like uh, not Alfredo, cod. Cod is a heavy Alfredo fish, sauce, spaghetti. It probably still would go good with cod, it'd go to good me with, with chicken. With the three of these, the Rosita had the aroma. Okay. The California, California had a soft finish. This one has everything. Mm. That's how I, when I taste them, 
This one's got the fruity flavor. Mm -hmm. It's got the aroma, mm -hmm. and it's got a nice finish to it. Oh, I love the finish on this. Mm-hmm. Itasca. This is Itasca. Wisconsin grown. Grown at Cold Country Vines and Wines, Keewanee, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And I think this will, this grape is going to make a mark in the Midwest as far as uh, as far as our ability to produce grapes that can compete with uh, with wines of the world. So, Wisconsin AVA, Wisconsin wines, come discover. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.